Hey all, it's Bill from the Plasma Fusion. I'm just going to do a quick little video on putting your Pachinko together and uh, walk through setup of pretty much all the machines. Um, when you get your machine, if we've shipped it unassembled, it's just essentially you're going to put the door on the frame and add the feet. You do need a drill and that's about it. So you'll get your feet already pre-assembled, you just have to screw them on. So there'll be a bag of screws and you need two screws pre-drilled holes you're just going to screw them into the base of here you're going to, you're going to flip your machine over obviously because it's there you go on the bottom and uh, the straight board is on the back end of the rear of the machine and the feet just flop on top so on this board you'll just stick that on there you're going to put four screws in and then rotate your machine back over so i'm going to flip this over this one's already been assembled, so we're going to walk it through. And then you turn your machine around, and since you have feet, it'll stand up on its own. Um, you're going to get a transformer. It's going to go on the, from looking at the back, on the right-hand side. There's also two more screws. Actually, there's a couple extra screws. You can put two screws in the back and maybe one in the front. Um, this goes here. There's a quick connect that'll attach it to the power harness of the machine itself and then this can plug right into the wall your machines remember are 24 volts so you do need the transformer if your machine comes with the black round uh, transformers that we have that are actually more heavy duty than these um, as we get them in we're switching them over uh, actually we have both kinds you'll um, you'll can plug it in there may be a plug on there, but we're trying to convert everybody to these so that no one accidentally can plug their machine into the wall and cause irreparable damage. Um, the other thing you need to do, this is usually taped on here, but this is your CR adapter. It's like an old computer serial port. That should be attached. You can take the tape off after you get it so that it doesn't, it's just to hold it in place uh, for transport. That controls the shooting knob. So if it's not attached, you won't be able to shoot balls and you'll obviously have an issue and you'll figure out that your CR adapter needs to be attached. If it's not attached to the machine, we've included it in a little baggie that usually has your key on it. Um, just FYI. If we have any left any of these tape, you can take the tape off too when you're doing this. Um, on the back of your machine, just two notes is this is a ball stop for the reward hopper up here. Um, make sure they're lifted up. They're, they're either red or yellow. Sometimes they're white and sometimes they're metal. Um, just flip them up and out of the way so that the balls can roll down the track. And if you load balls in the reward hopper and they fall straight out the bottom or straight out the front if your machine's cyclic, it means that um, you've put the ball dump switch and moved it. It's very easy to move when you're lifting and moving the machine around, unpacking it. Um, just make sure it's pushed down. It may be on the side also. There's yellow ones on some machines and white on some machines too. Volume controls are there, or sometimes they're tucked in under here. Power switches here, on, at least on this machine, sometimes they're on the other side. Um, if you power your machine on and you get a black screen with an error code on it and there's an alarm ringing, power it off, and there's a hard reset button. On this machine, it's here. It's tucked in here. They, they usually look like this. Or on the OK machines, it's under a little swing door here, and it's red. Power your machine off. You hold that button down, then power it on, and that'll clear the uh, error code. It's a hard restart. Okay, then flipping back to the front to put the door on. The door fits on this peg down here and it goes into this little groove right here. This little switch here is if you need to remove the door, you can pull that towards you and that'll undo the door. Um, I'm gonna pick up the door and pop it into those two spots and I'll keep it going. So that goes in the groove there. I can show you where the grooves are. Let me get a little snap. So, inside the base of the door is a little hole that that pin's gonna receptacle into. And up on top is this little groove where that little top pin went into and it slid into there. Your door's here. You may want to give a little help to keep the door from hanging while you're doing this part, but you're going to attach all the cables now. They all attach. They're pretty easy and self-explanatory. They usually they're all the same colors. Um, and down here you got a couple here. So you got a red one, a small red one, 
and then a white one over here. And those all connect in. They clip very nice and easy into there and snap. It's kind of hard to do this end video at the same time. Just FYI. But you won't be doing that. Those all connect in there. This little harness keeps it from getting caught in the door. And the same thing up here, it has this little strap thing. And then close it up and you're all done. You need a key. It's usually either in the lock or it's in that baggie that has your CR adapter. And you're ready. Throw some balls in here, power it on, and you're ready to play. Um, any questions, you can always give us a call. 203-258-9169 is a shop number or email us at sales at plasmainfusion.com. If we're not there, just please leave a message or as, as with an email case, we will get back to you as soon as we can. And happy pachinkoing. Thanks.